You see, you see, you're getting infected getting, by the I'm chest bug. Into it. Yeah, I am. exactly, exactly. And you know what? I think Christian has a very special guest. Thank you, Sharon. Yes, I'm uh, here with a very happy winner, the first winner of today's round. That is uh, the leader in the junior section, Hans Niemann. Hans, welcome back to the studio. How important was for you to bring uh, to come today and show a great performance after yesterday? Well, two days ago, you made the draw with the white pieces. That was a difficult draw, in our opinion. How important was it for you to show your dominance in today's game? Very, very important, especially um, this is sort of the, the wild card, and he's definitely the weakest link in the event. So this is sort of the point that I really needed to get. And I think this point, well, help solidify my lead, and I think I'll have a full point lead going into the next game. In the last two rounds, I'll have two whites against um, the lowest opposition I could play. So definitely very, very important to take advantage of this opportunity. Just to go back a couple of days ago, what was your strategy going into that game against John Burke? Um, well, uh, I think you guys mentioned this on the broadcast, but when I played a D takes C3 instead of B takes C3, objectively, B takes C3 is the best move. Um, uh, but you know, I, I wanted to get a position with, with no risk and just play chess um, in a very calm way. And, and I wasn't in that much of an, an ambitious mood. Of, so, you know, I was okay with the draw. I, I felt it was just important to shut him down. I see it just won two games in a row. So sort of closing his momentum and retaining my lead was, was the most important thing. And I, and I also felt that in terms of pairings, if you compare mine and his, it's really just not fair at all. Because in the first five games, I, I played every single person that's like in the top five. And he has them all now, so. Uh, that definitely felt like the right strategy. Let's go into today's game and see how did you feel uh, the opening went. Where was the critical moment? Uh, up to now, it seems pretty much theory, Hans. Uh, did you feel, is this theory? Are we in your prep? So, you know, after my prep ended after um, bishop to f4, um, the, the best move after knight c6 is to play knight takes c5, b takes c5, um, bishop to e3, knight d4, queen d1, and then after e5. And now here, the computer gives a bit of an edge um, for black, but it requires uh, extreme precision to get you know, maybe a 0.3 or 0.4. And if white is inaccurate, the black just gets long-term, slightly better position, um, considering the, the knight on d4 and then maybe the long-term play on the b file as well. Um, so this is what I, I, I wanted to go for, and, and I didn't expect him to be precise. But he, clearly, he was ready with bishop f4, which was certainly very surprising. But the interesting thing is after, uh, so castles is natural, rook d1. And this is what I think happened. I think he expected, I think the best move is e5 instead of castles. And then he expected me to play um, bishop h4, h6, and then now bishop, uh, sorry, bishop f4, e5, Bishop g5, h6, bishop b4, g5, bishop g And then there I assume that this is correct. But when you, you know, include a rook d1 in castle, it's just almost, it's just very bad for him. Um, so now, yeah, now it's fine. But after castles or d1, e5, I, I, I don't know what, what happened. Um, he just, he played it very quickly, um, which, which generally make much sense. But I guess it was really confusing. Uh, to whether he was in his preparation or wasn't. Um. As an old pawn grubber, a uh, question for you. Uh, you dismissed this opportunity uh, for a reason, and what was that? Well, if I was playing you, I would have considered it. Um, <laughs> I would have. I, you know, I, 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 I spent maybe 30 seconds <laughs> contemplating it briefly. Then I was like, yeah, you know, I'm not playing, uh, playing Ben Lee here. Grubber, yeah. Yeah, so uh, I, I, I thought, okay, like rookie eight, if bishop takes c5, I have d5. Right. Um, so you were willing to go into Even this worst case, I can play like knight d4, uh, let's say queen to d1, queen b6. Sacking an exchange. And, I would, right. and I'd be yeah. totally fine. Like, you know, yeah. or even, even maybe queen takes b2 is a move, but even rook takes f8, I was... Okay. Intuitively, this this felt fine. I guess the engine gives a small edge, but I I, I would assume that requires a, a in inhuman um, you know level of uh, precision. Um, 
Exactly. Just a quick, that was just uh, my guesswork. But at this moment, yeah, so, uh, you felt good. Right? So here, you know, I, I did, a, here, paying attention in psychology class definitely helped me. Why? You know, I had a bit of a read on them. If I could do an instant replay, I could do a little analysis for you. You know, in basketball, you look through and you watch, but I don't know if you guys have the, the tech for that, but there was a moment where um, I was looking at, you know, at the board and I was trying to figure out if he was in his preparation because G4, this, I just went upon, right? So intuitively, I'm like, What's, what, is he, what is he doing? Right. But then um, I started to look at him and he, I, I noticed his eye movement. He's like moving quickly. I'm like, why is he calculating if he knows all this? And then after he did like a, a few quick eye movements, he, um, he looked at me and he made eye contact for the first time. Like the entire game, like I kept on just you know staring him down, like I mentioned in my pre-tournament interview. Yeah. And he just wasn't engaging in a stare down, and I was like, okay. And then finally made eye contact, and I felt like that was sort of a, a, a look for confirmation, to see if what he was doing was correct. And that's when I kind of uh, my my fear of being caught in some opening pressure sort of vaporized, um, uh. and I was able to to play. But yeah, night D five. G5, this is, this is uh, not looking good. And you snip the pawn, knight takes E4, and at this point, I mean, it just felt like it was all you. I mean, there was an avalanche yeah, after this move, D3. Bishop F5 was letting the dogs out, so to speak. You know, I mean, the, the pawn on D4 is no great shakes. I mean, I prefer black's position, don't get me wrong, but this move, D3, just opened up this bishop, and. Did you already at this moment think, oh my goodness, I, I, I've got this? Yeah, definitely uh, felt very good here. And I think it's also a really great feeling to know, like to have a lot of the hard, like I'm doing a lot of intense opening preparation mm -hmm. and to like see it sort of come to fruition is just a great feeling. Um, exactly. And in, all, in this tournament, most of my games, my preparation, or at least my style of opening, maybe this, my preparation didn't really concretely show in this game, but the type of position that I wanted to get, yeah, now, yeah, Bishop, yeah, you just, yeah, every move is just, yeah, now Rook D6 and you should resign, but. Yeah, it's uh, a hammer blow. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was, I, every move I thought he was gonna resign and then he kept on playing. <laughs> exactly. And uh, here I thought, okay, Queen F3, H5, then he's gonna resign. Right. Because I was like, okay, I can play Rook, Rook H2, take, take, King G4, Queen before King F5, Rook F2, win the Queen. Right. Uh, but I was like, okay, maybe he, he believes that he can play, but H5 I thought was the, the, the killer, but uh, yeah. We, we, do, do, you, do you have a name for a checkmate with the pawn? Do you have a name for it? Uh, yeah, um, when you checkmate with a pawn? I think Ikara has a name for it. Really? Oh, he might call it the lobster pincer. No, maybe not the, I don't know. Hikaru definitely has a name for it. I think maybe, and, and Hikaru would say, you know, I pinned him with a juicer and I lobster pincered him and, you know, he couldn't handle it. Damn, that sounds Correct. painful. Not as good as mine, which is right. soulmates. Because, because we're Paul... thinking, pawns are the soul of chess. So yeah, soulmates. Sharon came up with a soulmate. Pretty good, right? Pretty good, decent. Yeah. Like you it. know, you and XQC definitely have a lot in common with your naming of, of chess We, we do. Are you, I, I assume you know who XQC is, or? Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, so uh, it's definitely. Yeah, yeah. I'm so, a good liar as well. Um, I have a get to know you question. We saw you at dinner uh, yesterday. What's your favorite kind of food? And if you had to choose one meal to have every single day for a week, what would that be? Just, I think my, uh, I would just be at home and have my mother cook for me. That's it, honestly. Good just home cooking. Teriyaki chicken with a smoothie. And, you know, I'm living life. Oh, oh, amazing, large. delicious. Nice. Uh, one more, who's your favorite chess star and who's your favorite non-chess celebrity that you love? Favorite chess star? Yeah. Outside of yourself. You yeah, no, no, I, I wouldn't want to be labeled you know, arrogant at all. If I said, I'm sure <laughs> Twitter would be riled up. But, uh, Me, I'm a right. favorite. Yeah, um, I, I think I, I admire a few people for different reasons, but you know, the, the, Magnus, I think, I, I, I do admire, but I, I think it was, I would have to be Bobby Fischer. Okay. He's not a current chess Same as Yasa. But uh, yeah, Bobby Fischer on more of a, uh, I, I definitely can relate to and is an inspiration of mine. Mm. And what about non-chess celebrity? That is a tough question. Yeah. Um, 
I know the answer. I, wait, I'm thinking, I think it's someone, uh, can it be a, someone in a Netflix show? Yeah. yeah why Raymond not? Reddington is my absolute hero. Which show? Blacklist. Okay. So he, Blacklist. yeah, Raymond Reddington, he's like, he's in Blacklist and, and that. Sh- I think he, the, way he, the way he runs his criminal organization, I would say has inspired the way I think about chess. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Okay, well, Hans, again, congratulations. Keep up the good work. You're looking good. You are. Uh, and you're my pick, left. by the way, to win, so keep it oh, going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You did yesterday to somebody else. Well, okay, I'm David different. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Hans.